Hi guys and gals, Shane Stevenson here at the Buffalo Naval Park. And uh, I know it's been a little bit since I've done a video, and uh, well, I'm going to try to get through this video as best as I can. Uh, I am alone today. Um, you know, in the full season and stuff, it's hard to get Steven and I together on the same schedule. Uh, but today I'm going to be talking, we as much of the country have, has had like this heat dome, on top of us, so it's it's been about 85 to yeah, I'd say about 85 to 90 for the past five days or so. And uh, I was on a curator tour today, and some individuals wanted to see mainly wanted to focus on the Sullivans. So we came forward on the Sullivans and down below, which is where I'm going to be heading. And again. Uh, I was just astounded as, as to how hot it is uh, here in these spaces. Uh, so we heat them in the winter time, but we don't air condition them in the summertime. Uh, so of course ships go through different types of stresses, and one of those stresses is thermal stress, temperature changes, right, and that can re lead that's one of the type of stresses that can lead to residual stress uh, after that event has ended. Right? So once we start to cool down, um, you know, a thermal stress would, would be the steel just forms back into place. Uh, residual stress would be even though when the temperature goes down, there's still stress within the materials, namely the steel and the aluminum. So, especially here on the Great Lakes, there's a lot of uh, discussion about deflection and going the length of a lake freighter. You know, there could be a deflection of four to six inches, uh, depending on the type of stress. Uh, but today, with here, uh, being in this these spaces that we'll walk around, uh, we'll be talking about thermal stress. All right, and so a deflection is how much, uh, say, an I-beam, a frame, uh, flexes. So from the perpendicular, right, how many, what's the angle of deflection, and then how long is the deflection? When does it start to bend and flex? and then the angle of it as well. So, uh, again, I'm not an engineer in any sort of way. I'm just trying to give you know, a general overview. And uh, for today, uh, the crew uh, has purchased a thermal gun. So I'm going to try that and uh, get some temperatures. All right, so I'm going to turn on the thermal gun. Right now we are heading down the port or I'm in the port ladder well, all right, heading down, which will eventually lead to uh, the chow line and uh, the mess deck, and then I'm going to go forward a little bit, and I'm going to kind of use the thermal gun. I, I hope it can show up um, and take the temperatures of different areas. Let's see if this works. Okay, I hope you can see those numbers. Alright, so the center one is where the actual thermal gun is pointing. Right, you'll see that's stable. Then the ones that are floating around are the lowest temperatures and highest temperatures and where they are. And then also down below here it gives the max temperature and the minimum temperature. So in this space here, again the, being in the ladder well on port, uh, we are looking at a max temperature of 97, all right, it just hit 97, minimum temperature of 94. And maybe I can change the, oh, that might, well, that might be better for you. Sorry again if it's not. All right, these are pretty high-tech screens. I don't, just don't know if it's picking up. No wonder I'm sweating so much. Alright, so I'm going to keep the camera on it, 
but I will have to look with my actual eyes as opposed to through the camera. Alright, so that's where we were. 90, 90, well, 97.1 to 94.1. Just coming down onto the first platform, it feels cooler. But we're still listed at about 97, minimum of 95. But it just feels a hell of a lot hotter in the ladder well there. All right, don't mind me. We're going to head through the mess deck. It's actually because I can't carry everything. All right, it's going to be dark. but I know where I'm going, hopefully. <laughs> ah, we'll cut through the scullery. And now we're, we're still, we're, now we're reading a temperature of about 95, right in the center there. Still reading at 95. Wow. Because it just does feel a little bit cooler down here. Of course, we are heading towards the water line. should have had my headlamp is what I should have had. Alright, we're getting a little light here. Still reading 94.4. Now I'm pretty sure there's some light through this door. Still at 95. <clears throat> All right, for those of you that you don't that don't know, we are in First Division Birthing, which was on the tour route. Again, by this time from the sinking, you can see the water level. And of course, because we are listing to starboard over here, it looked like the water was rising from port to starboard. All right, and we are still at about 95, 95.3. All right, if I was to come out here through the scuttle, now we're heading into anchor windlass. Again, now this temperature change is immediate. Ninety-six. Again, now we're reaching a max of ninety-seven, minimum of ninety-five. Again, it's a thermal camera, so I'm not on anything that's super hot or I'm not pointing it in any direction that's super hot or super cold. to 98, a little bit, 97.8. Here's Anchor Windless, 98.4. 
minimum of 96. So to my body, to my to the human body, it feels super warm in here. But really it just turns well now we're getting to 99. This is CPO mess. With a minimum of 96.6. Ninety-eight. Wow. Ninety-nine point five. Ninety-nine point three. There we go. Now I'm pointing it at the overhead. All right, and this leads um, out to the main deck. And we're getting temperatures of 100 and 100, 100.2, minimum of 97.8, 98. But on the decking here, it says 101, 102, minimum of 99. Sorry, I'm probably really sweating. <laughs> so, again, we don't flush air conditioning here through this system. Uh, that might be because of just the equipment needed, the transformers, the extra energy from the transformers. But we do keep it uh, warm at about 45 in the winter time, right, to help prevent ice. But you know, thermal uh, stresses can go either way, cold or hot. So I can imagine, and if you're on the deck of the Sullivans, and I'm sure it's the same with the Cass and Young and the uh, kid, that it's, you're getting a lot of the bending and the flexing, and that's like the deflection. To my understanding, that would be like the deflection points. So how many inches is it concaving or convexing? Right, and again, but with thermal, it does kind of bounce right back, and uh, when the temperature event uh, recedes. Well, I've got to kind of get out of here, but uh, what are we reading at? Okay, perfect, 103.8. And again, I hope you guys can see that. I know this thermal camera, you know, trying to read it. 103.6, yep, minimum of 100, or 101, and then that's the actual, as we're walking, that's the temperature right there, 104, right, 104, so when I came in, it was about 96, right, walking through the mess deck, and, um, oh, it's a sauna. <laughs> walking through the mess decks, it was still in that 94, 95, um, I think. Maybe my brain is frying. And coming up here now to the Anchor Windless CPO mess on the first platform, it shoots right up to 100, 101, 102, 103. So... This is a great question. What can we do about this? Uh, besides getting air conditioning down here, uh, do we need to have the crew checking these stress points? Um, we should probably, now we are, because of the sinking, we are in uh, watertight, uh, we are watertight. So we are not letting any airflow. I do have a fan right here. I don't know if it was energized, it seems, the, but is, is this something we should do is, uh, and do, you know, every checks every four hours and let some air flow through here? Because again, the outside temperature is probably about 83 or so. Um, this is a great question. Uh, if you have any thoughts about that, please feel free to share them in the comments. Um, Alright, thanks everyone. 
uh, we will see you again soon. I'm kind of formulating a bunch of different ideas for YouTube. Uh, just got sidetracked with a lot of other work. And uh, thanks for all your support. Coming up with member videos as well. Stephen and I are working on that. 15 or 20 member videos. And uh, you know what? <laughs> if my brain doesn't fully fry, we will see you again soon. Please leave comments. I just thought this was an interesting general overview of the temperature here forward on the first platform, on the second platform, and then leading out to the main deck. Wow! Now it says 107, 106. Wow. High temperature of 108. Low temperature of 105. No wonder I'm dripping so bad, everybody. All right. Uh, sorry about this uh, lo-fi video. Again, I'm trying to carry stuff and uh, have notes. But thanks so much. And you know what? I'll sign off now. Hope to see you again soon. And uh, please leave your comments, your thoughts. Uh, again, I'm not an engineer. So is there something that we might be able to do to keep this temperature uh Oh, what? Into the 90s? I don't know. <laughs> Into the 80s. Uh, thanks so much.